Hello everyone, my name is Sherry and today we will talk about my transition from public accounting to private accounting. So unlike the transition from undergrad to public accounting, I want to say that my transition from public to private is much much easier. So I can make a separate video about what it was like from undergrad to public accounting, but today let's stick on topic. So I still remember just being a little scared quitting public accounting because you know public accounting has like the big name and it's what every accounting student professor's dream was but I thought it through. I discussed with multiple mentors and also just my friends and people around me and I realized that it was the right thing for me to quit so I went into private accounting. And the transition, I want to say it's definitely much easier because public accounting is pretty much as hardcore as it gets. And if you go into private, most likely it's going to get easier. And if not, it is going to be equally difficult or equally hardcore, like equally long hours and high stress. And so I want to say that in order to prep yourself for the private accounting mindset, just make sure that you don't take things for granted. So you don't believe in those stereotypes that private accounting is just so easy and people just clock in like nine to five, nine to five, and people just exit at five. Yeah, that is true for some companies, as you can see with some of your audit clients. Yes, some companies or employees do get up pretty early, but that's not for all companies. So make sure in your interview, be sure to ask them like, what's the expected hour? Like, what should I expect? And on top of that, I want to say, try to add two to three hours on top of the expectation, just so there's a buffer time. Because there's always a time when you have to take the extra time to learn new skills, new systems and all that. So expect for at least the first month or the first couple weeks for you to take extra long to finish one task. And so add, uh, I want to say two to three hours to that time to make up your expectations. So expect if they say you can get off at six, make that eight and nine just to build a larger expectation. And that's what I learned from my transition to public accounting. And on top of that, it's also very, very important, in my opinion, to read the company website. So when I was in public accounting, that's not a habit at all. I mean, sometimes, yes, I do look at the homepage just for fun uh, to see like what Ernst & Young is talking about, about their like global awareness or volunteering and all that. But no one really pays close attention to the firm's like website, to like how the firm's really doing. That's not really like a habit that people do. Like people look at regulations and all that, but people don't really look at like Ernst & Young itself that, that, that often from what I learned. But then if you work in private accounting, it is so, so important to know what is going on because everything ties into accounting. If there is a new product, it ties into accounting. If there is a new management hire, that ties into accounting. If there is like some new press release, that goes into accounting. So everything ties into accounting and also just getting to know your company is so, so important because what you do is directly correlated with how the company is doing and vice versa. And so read the company website, get familiar with the company's product operation services. That will be very, very important in the long run. Then your job will fit into the bigger puzzle and it will be easier for you to understand that. And the third tip is also something that I want to say applies to both public and private, but it's more important in private accounting just because in my opinion is a more permanent space so there is usually less turnover so the people around you are gonna be the people around you for quite some time and so get to know the people around you and not just in your own department but also people maybe outside your little section and even people outside your department because these people most likely will stick around and it is always very very helpful to build connections and also build a network within your company so you feel like you belong there and you feel like you identify with your company and also the people around you. These are three things I learned about my transition from public accounting to private accounting. I hope you enjoyed this video and as always, please thumbs up and subscribe and see you guys next time. Bye! Uh, um, <clears throat>